not actively engaged, um, then the ability to be able to get both sides to sit down, to agree, to compromise, to move the process forward, um, the odds are stacked against us. Are you making this point as strongly as you can to the leaders of the United States, as strongly as I can to the leaders of uh, here in the United States, to the international community, because um, the alternative is, is, is a cycle of violence that will affect all of us and go on for, for, for many, many years. And I don't think that we in the Middle East can afford that type of future. I believe that this is the crossroads that we're at today. Uh, and the choice is whether the, the Middle East will move in the right direction or not. It comes down to the United States, the international community, the players in the region, the Arab and Muslim moderate countries with the Israelis and Palestinians moving the process in the right direction. To be specific, do you see a connection between the Palestinian issue and the war in Iraq. Well, uh, it, you know, the, the, again, go back to the, the simplicity of, of the issue, being a core issue. Sure. Um, it, it, people have perceived that the Palestinians have, have had tremendous injustice put up on their shoulders, uh, that uh, this is Israel that is responsible for that, uh, supported by the Western powers. What has happened now with Iraq is um, sort of the, the great Satan's for extremists point of view have come a bit closer. They're in Israel, they're in Iraq. It's easier to get them in Iraq than in Israel. Uh, there has always been a connection historically between the two sides.